here is Charlie again, you guys know him. Now this time he has to make a video for a big client, but he can never finish it in time on his potato PC. He doesn't have the money to buy a new one, so I'm going to help him today by sharing some secret settings that you can change on your computer to make Premiere go faster. And yes, it actually works. Now well, what's the matter, Charlie? You have trouble playing back your footage? Well, let me show you a little secret. In the project window, select your videos and right click them. Then choose proxy. Click on create proxies. Now proxies basically are copies of your videos, but in another codec, which makes it easier for Premiere to read. When editing, Premiere uses these proxies so that your editing experience is faster. Now to choose another codec, open up the presets menu and for me, ProRes low resolution works best. Then click OK. Now I know these are all of steps to do each time when you start a new project, but you can let Premiere make proxies automatically every time that you import a video. To enable that, go to File, Project Settings, and then Ingest Settings. When this window will pop open, click the checkbox to enable Ingest and open up the drop down menu. From there, choose Create Proxies. Click the Presets menu, and here you can choose another codec again. Click OK and import your files. Now Media Encoder will open up automatically, and voila, your proxies are created. Now, how do we work with these proxies? Well, go to the Program Monitor and click the button Editor. Click and drag the Proxy button next to the others and click OK. Now with this button, you can toggle between the proxies and the original video. And that should be a whole lot faster already. Hey Charlie, how do you expect to edit when your hard drive is almost full? Here, let me help you. So Premiere is constantly saving cache files to your hard drive when you're editing and this can take up a lot of storage. This means Premiere has less working space and to fix that, go to Edit, then Preferences and then Media Cache. Once it's open, click the Delete button. Make sure that Unused Cache is enabled and then click OK. This is cool and all, but there's an even better way to use cache files. So when you're editing, Premiere is using your storage drive. At the same time, the drive is being used for caching. This means Premiere is slower when editing, but what if there's a way to fix that? Well, there is. You can use another drive for caching. That way, your main drive can be used 100% for editing. Majority, which drive should I use for caching then? Well, you will be best off with a super fast solid state drive, such as the P41 Plus SSD from Solidime. They are also sponsoring this video, by the way. Oh, thank you. Now, let me show you the difference on exporting, for example. On the left, you can see a video exporting on a normal drive, and on the right, you can see one on the P41 SSD, which exports my video so much faster with the exact same render settings. Now, Solidime is actually born from Intel SSD, so they have a long standing reputation for making quality, high performance, and durable SSDs. So, although it's a new brand, they know exactly what they're doing. Solidime is part of SK Hynix, which is the second largest memory chip maker in the world. So quality and speed is guaranteed. The P41 Plus is a PCIe Gen 4 SSD that has read speeds up to 4,125 megabytes per second. Wow! They will load and save large media files in no time. High intensity programs like Premiere and After Effects will pfft, open up like it's nothing. You can even edit up to 8K videos without a problem. Do keep in mind that other hardware components also play a role. You know, older SATA SSDs will be irrelevant soon as these little things will change the world. Can you believe that you can have up to two terabytes on this tiny drive? A few years ago, a 16 gig USB drive was bigger than this. But here comes the best part. Solidime found a way to unlock even more performance out of your P41 SSD. They have a free software called Synergy, which gives you access to two things, the driver and the toolkit. With the driver alone, your system will get up to 120% faster read speeds and up to 20% faster write speeds. This means you will get access to your files and programs much faster and everything will be so much more responsive. And with the Synergy toolkit, you can check the drive's health and the operating temperatures of all your SSDs. Also the ones that you already have installed in your system. You can run different reports and so much more. Even with one Solidine SSD in your computer, you will have no problem editing even when Premiere and caching happens on the same drive. Solidine will help you level up as a creative, so to learn more, check the link in the description down below. Wait, what was that, Charlie? Your PC has a blue screen? Oh no, your hard drive just died. Now you'll never finish the project in time. You know what? Alright, you can have the Solidime SSD, but, but give it back afterwards. 
works okay. Now let's see what else we can do to increase Premiere's performance. Sometimes when working on big projects, you aren't using half of the files and that will slow down Premiere. Now don't worry, you can fix this in just a few clicks. All you need to do is go to the edit menu on top and click remove unused. And the same thing counts for duplicates. They slow down your computer. To delete them, go to edit and click consolidate duplicates. It's that simple. All right, Charlie, if you don't want your PC to explode, listen to the next trick. It's my absolute favorite. Let's say that you have this slow After Effects comp in your Premiere timeline, which is really difficult to play back. Now to fix that, duplicate the clip by holding down Alt and dragging it up one track. Then right click it and choose Render and Replace. Click OK and now you have a rendered clip and this will always play back perfectly fine. Now the reason that I duplicated the original comp in a timeline is so that you always have access to the original comp. All right, the next trick is super obvious, but almost nobody knows about it. Click the Windows Search button and type in Control Panel. Open it up and in the search bar, type in Power Plan. Then click Choose a Power Plan. Now select the power plan that gives your computer the highest performance. For me, this is the ultimate performance plan. If you don't have that, choose the high performance plan. It's easy as that. This time, let me know in the comments what your power plan was set to. <laughs> Alright, if you have a big project with lots of effects, Premiere will have difficulties playing back your footage. Now to fix that, click the button editor and find the FX toggle. Drag it next to the other buttons. Now you can turn off all the effects in your project whenever you feel like Premiere has trouble. Alright, Charlie, the next trick is super secret and I don't want you to tell this to anyone. We're gonna change some secret graphics card settings. Oh, wait, did your graphics card just explode it? Okay, then this trick won't be so useful to you. But if your graphics card didn't explode guys then pay attention first right click your desktop and choose nvidia control panel when it's open select use the advanced 3d image settings then on top choose manage 3d settings click the program settings tab and from the drop down menu choose adobe premiere pro now the first thing that we're going to change is quality of the texture filtering set it to high performance set the trillionaire optimization to on and the threaded optimization as well then set the anti-sophisticated Sample optimization to on. Damn, these are hard words. <laughs> and lastly, set the OpenGL rendering GPU to your GPU. Then don't forget to hit apply. There is one last super important setting that you need to change, otherwise all of this was for nothing. In Premiere, go to File, Project Settings, and then General. Then make sure that the GPU acceleration mode is enabled. This way, Premiere will use your graphics card whenever it can. And with those extra NVIDIA settings, it will be super blazing fast. What's that? Charlie, your PC just exploded. Oh no, what happened? Charlie, you won't be able to finish the video and you will lose your client. You know what? I'll give you a new PC, Charlie. It's fine. You, you can have it. Just pay me back afterwards with interest. <laughs> so now your computer is fast enough, but your workflow, it's still shit. So you need to work on that. Luckily, I have a video here on my left with 10 tricks to make your workflow faster and become a faster video editor. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.